Anyhow, pick a destination. This is uh, Jason for my YouTube channel. Some of this might be on there, so I'm okay, just letting sure. you, you know. And we're here. Okay, we're here, and you're like right over here. This is that the neighborhood? My gosh, look at that. Look how accurate that is. Yeah. Okay. So you said this version is 12.3? 12 12.3.3. 12 this is the newest version. We'll see if it knows where it is yet. You have to, we have to wait until, okay. Mm-hmm. So when you left your house, you, what, you didn't have your hands on the wheel, your car was going to the destination. I keep my hand on the wheel normally, because I consider this beta testing, however, this version now, 12.3.3, .3, is called full self-driving supervised as opposed to beta. And I think that's because it's hammered out most of the issues. Like, previous iterations would have had a hard time with that truck if it was moving slowly in the neighborhood and whatever. But they've nailed it down to where it'll pass a um, mail truck. It, uh, smoothly like a human would puts the blinker on in the appropriate amount of time it doesn't feel like a machine is driving <laughs> the only problem is it does stop for the stop signs because of law mm -hmm. now I have it set to where it will not go with the flow of traffic because I found it was a little too fast so I'm going to turn that back on I might have And it's showing you the cameras, or did you push that on there? Uh, it's it, that's my blinkers. <laughs> now it took us the back wrong way, didn't follow the arrows, mm. but it drove us here. Which different? Can you see any difference from the, this version from the last version? Yes. Uh, oh, uh, three dot three to from three dot. 12.3 to 12.3.3 mm -hmm. no but i haven't driven it enough i've only got it yesterday i filmed um okay um so where's see. it going now it says you must be tired of being here so let's edit this trip stop don't know where it's going. Hey, let's see what happens. Oh, it's going to go back to here. Hmm. It says, wasn't that close enough for you? <laughs> okay, we're going to cancel that. And we are going to stop here. We're going to... See, now that it does mm -hmm. ask you what's going on. But, okay, um... Here, I'll show you this. No version of autopilot until this one was able to do the airport circle or this intersection coming. If it was going here and going here, mm -hmm. it would kind of stop. And you might get rear-ended because it, it was confused because it was so wide there. Okay. So I'm going to tell it to go here. Now, unfortunately, the last time I told it to go here, it pulled into this fucker's driveway. <laughs> Oh, here, I, I'll, I'll look for it. Um, to, to Devon Drive. Okay. We'll tell Bob he can buy uh, to freight all his vehicles in and buy a Tesla mm -hmm. for forty thousand dollars. Buy the twelve thousand dollar full self driving. It'll yeah. be fine. It'll mm -hmm. drive him safer than he drives. Absolutely. So this is where it struggled. Yeah, it used to stop right here. Hmm. 
because it didn't know whether to go there or there. Mm. And you saw that, it was very human-like. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the house we're going to is two doors, uh, no, the one door on the left. Now, I'm gonna get here, and I'm gonna let it slow up, and then I'm going to put the blinker on. I mean, that's scary if it really does. I hope this guy doesn't think I'm nuts. Why? Because I, I pulled into his yard through driveway three times. But that was the only time he did the blinker. Oh, the first time I didn't do shit. Mm -hmm. uh, the second time, didn't it didn't do it, even though I put the blinker on at the last minute. Hmm. Third time, it did it with the blinker. This is the third time? And the, the fourth time, it did it with the blinker, mm -hmm. with you. Uh, but I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to come back, and it could not do the left the five points there at all. Have you driven this when it's been really, really raining hard? Yep. Kind of like you can't even see the road hard. Yep. Can it still pick up all the cars okay and all that? A little scary to me uh, because it. Um, I know hydroplaning, mm -hmm. and it it'll go between trucks that are spraying out bullshit like crazy and. It drives better in the rain than I do, hmm. but I now change the speed and keep it slower because I worry about the, um, okay, we're, it's, it's going to have to go back there. I'm going to let it drive now. So it's going to have to go and make that hard left at five points. This is the only thing I don't like about it. On residential like roads like this, there's a dead end there. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't have to be as cautious, although I'd rather be more cautious than not. Mm -hmm. And this bugs me because people behind you go, nobody stops there for a stop sign. They might stop yeah. here. Right. You better go. Okay. It gets up and goes. Oh, and that is one of the improvements. Now, I don't know why it's a little cautious about what this car is doing. Got overrun that is. Yeah. Oh, the speed limit is technically 35, but it thinks it's 30. Um, the speed limit is set to where go with the flow. This is the first time, version 12.3.3, this is the first time I've ever come up, encountered this intersection with a car in this place. And it handled it great. That guy put his blinker on at the last moment. Wow, version 12.3.3 did in fact fix that issue. That intersection is fixed and this is pretty impressive. Now, I've gone to this poor guy's house twice and I do not know him, but I'm gonna put my blinker on because I've chosen him as a temporary destination and we're gonna see if it pulls into his driveway. And is it? No. Nope. Yeah, thanks for running over the guy's curb. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's far enough. This guy is going to come out of his house with a <laughs> shotgun. I'm going to say. I think his neighbors are watching you. I said, uh, Jason. He's out there with his lawn chair. Did you see that? No. His is neighbor's there, out there with a lawn chair. Oh, God. You got to be kidding. He's probably retired sheriff or something. Yeah, he's probably called in my license plate 12 times. Um, wow, where did we park? Oh, yeah, we are. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, crap. The funny part about it is I... Oh, good. At least it was cautious. I was afraid it would just go. Mm -hmm. I know it doesn't do that in the neighborhood. I think it's looking all the time. OK, 
Okay, we got a car coming from the left. We got to figure out what this car is doing. Are you going? Go. Oh, come on. Well, I really blame that on that woman there. Mm -hmm. It was safe. I think with it is right now. Yeah, I mean, I I couldn't see whether she was waving us on, but she appeared like she was waving us on the night afterwards. But I couldn't tell. <laughs> Needs to avoid potholes and learn how to park in parking lots. It parked in a uh, handicapped spot, uh, but it parked in the blue sp line rather than the spot itself yesterday on the drive. There's another Tesla just pulled into that driveway. Stolen. 